JoJo's Science Show! Hello, welcome to JoJo's Science Show. Today we're going to learn why these balloons float. We're also going to find out how many balloons it'll take to float a little boy like me. I can see my house from up here. Let's see if these balloons can lift this dinosaur. In the Disney movie Up, it took a lot of balloons to lift an entire house. It would take a lot of balloons to float a house. I bet it would take a million. Bye bye, Mr. Dinosaur. Let's see if Kristoff will float away. Wah, wah, wah. Helium is about seven times lighter than air. That's why balloons filled with helium float. And balloons filled with air sink. This dinosaur weighs exactly 9.2 grams. It takes exactly three balloons to barely lift him in the air and keep him in the air without floating up. This is the sound a dinosaur makes. Each balloon lifts about three grams. It would take 148 balloons to lift one pound. That's a lot for just a pound. I'm 42 pounds, therefore it'll take 42 times 148 balloons. It'll take 6,218 balloons to lift me. Uh-oh, I only have three balloons. <coughs> to figure out how many balloons to lift you, multiply your weight in pounds by 148. You just learned why balloons float when they're filled with helium. If you like this video, then hit the thumbs up button down below. And if you haven't already, then subscribe to my channel so you can see all my fun videos. And remember kids, science is fun. This is the sound a dinosaur makes. Ah!